going stranger good how about you man i was way on the other side of town i was just about to say where's eddie right here i am <laughs> so they're getting everybody out good Right? <laughs> I was a little late, but I got here. Got that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We're media. All of us is media. media. You're famous, Chavis. <laughs>
We can see down the street we got fire trucks. One, eight, two, one, three, eight, four, five, six, one, eight, five, six one, eight, seven. We got seven trucks, and then we have trucks on the back of the uh, street on the back side that's fighting it from the back street.
gonna bring this back and feed it to you guys. The video that I just uh, pre-recorded, you guys got to see. Looks like they well, pretty well have it out. I'm actually with uh, the battalion chief, Mr. Chavis. And uh, chief, can you tell me what you know, of what happened, how many fire engines we had, and how many men, and uh, what's the story behind the fire? So Agent 72 arrived on the scene, and uh, the uh, mobile home was uh, completely engulfed in fire. All the occupants had gotten out. Uh, so at this time we have six engines at the scene, uh, 18 firefighters. Um, we have good uh, containment on the fire, no extension to the adjacent structures. There was one RV that uh, probably a little bit scorched, but it's not, in, not on fire. Um, and then the three residences surround it are uh, no damage. Awesome. There was one outbuilding that was destroyed as well. Was there any vehicles uh, destroyed as well, too? I didn't see any yet, but we'll sort through that here in a little bit. Okay, so we didn't have any injuries? No, uh, well, there was one burn injury uh, to one of the residences, but uh, it was minor and he refused transport. Okay, great. And do we know what the cause of the fire is yet, Chief? Uh, it's, it's accidental at this time, that's all we can say. Okay, all right, and that's his story, folks, and he's sticking to it. Thank you, Battalion Chief. Chef. Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna walk you guys down, and uh, I, there's John Strangus. He's a little bit late to the scene, but he is here. What's up, John? Hey. Hey, how you doing? All good. I'm listening to a pursuit they just picked up, I guess. Oh my God, everything's happening tonight. Yeah. So we're gonna walk down here and show you guys actually uh, what it's looking like now. You've seen the prior video of the flames. I still see, it looks like, uh, that might be a light over there, but. I just came over here to check it out. I didn't even walk out when the camera just got to the Right. Are we? Is that? Oh, it's still burning. Though. It's still burning. I'm gonna shoot down over there and zoom in. This is part of the trailer yet. Yeah, you might want to, John. John's gonna say, "I'm going back and get my camera." Till then, let's go back to the scene. Like I say, if anybody is giving comments at this moment, I cannot read comments because I'm actually live streaming through my camera. These guys are getting ready to go back in. Had to take a breather break. These guys are right down in the heat, folks. Look at that. You guys give some hearts and likes for our firemen out here. If I can get you guys a better angle here. They had, like the chief said, they had a uh, structure, residential home, and an outback, as you can see the outback. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, we do have a car damage. So that's one vehicle damage. We heard something about a fifth wheel, but we didn't see any fifth wheel over here. So this is something the chief did not see. Let's see what else we can tell over here. They're basically digging for all the hot spots to try to put all those out over here at the mobile home park.
And that's the mobile home that he was telling you about that got a lot of heat damage, as you can see. It looks like it's got scorched pretty bad. But they're continuing spraying water on it to try to help protect that mobile home. And let's check out this vehicle right here. Uh, this vehicle may have some heat damage done to it. Did you see where that firefighter is at? That fire was right there beside it. So yeah, it's going to have some heat damage done. But at least it's not like that car over there. Thank goodness. That one's completely gone. One car. One car? Yeah. That fire is burning hot back there in the back. do have a tractor trailer back there. Yeah, it does look like a semi truck. So that does look like a fifth wheel. That is a fifth wheel truck back there, a semi truck right there. Yeah, I can see the wheels and right there's the mud flap on the back of it. Yep, it's destroyed. So we do have a tractor trailer, appears to be, and a car. Let's see what else I can tell about now. That's what it looks like. Now those are semi tires. There goes John. Five vehicles. Is one of them a semi tractor trailer? I think it's a, I think that was an RV. Oh, okay. Cause yeah, it looked like a like a fifth wheel type deal. Yeah, on it. So. All right. So we have five vehicles total, just updated by uh, the fire chief that has been destroyed. These guys are uh, using rakes to overturn debris to lift out the hot spots and continue spraying them down so they can try to kill all the hot spots while they have other units fighting the rest of the fire that's in the back. These guys got a long night ahead of them.
So just for a recap, uh, it looks like it was started by electrical fire when they said accidental. Uh, they actually said it was a wiring issue in the home. There was one person that was injured by minor burns. Uh, he refused treatment to the hospital. I think they called out for uh, Red Cross for I think three people, I believe two or three people. There was uh, the structure of the home uh, was burned and an outback building and five vehicles. See if we can see any damage on that car. I don't know what that is in the back, but it's hot as hell. Well, you know what? That could be a. Now, I was gonna say as a reflection of light, because that looks like reflection back there. Oh, no, they should burn it. No, it is burning. Yeah, I see the flame. This is the homeowner right here. SoCal gas over here, cutting off all the gas lines. It's 
so hard for these guys to walk around in here. Trying to see what that is back there burning. But actually, I'm looking at that more closely. That looks like it's a reflection of all the lights and smoke is making that fiery flame look. I don't know. Because if there was that much fire back there, they'd be putting focus of water on that. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to find out. Oh, is it another home? What a Coil? Is that home on fire? Right now? Is that? Is that on fire too? Is no, that that's a, that's an orange grow light. Oh, oh I was. Oh. We can't, figure out, we can't figure out how to shut it off. So all that time we were filming, we were filming. We were thought we were filming. Thought it was fire. still on fire. Oh my, oh my God! My God. <laughs> so we were wondering why that fire wasn't going out. It's actually an orange <laughs> grow light. Well. Does that mean this is a pot that blew up? They said they had electrical problems. Or 
Well, that answers our question. I knew what, it didn't look like flames, but I knew the smoke was giving a flame mill uh, illusion. It was weird, I tell you, that's all I wanted That's to why I said I had to come back here and see what that is all about. Yeah, you can see the foil that was covering the windows. It's like a foil type material. John, turn your light on. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, are those pot leaves actually through the window? Well, I think that answers your question right there. I see pot leaves. John, throw your light up. We're up against the house. Just on the trucks. On the trucks? There's two vehicles there that were destroyed. Oh, he's a pot girl. Hey. This is a pot grill. <laughs> you just figured that out, John? Give me some light over here. Oh, yeah. I was just trying to show you the area of the home here is destroyed. <laughs> Poor guys are all slopping in water and everything over here. We've got a pond over here with all this water. Hey, at least they saved the nugs, folks. Yep, you're going to have soaked ass socks. Oh, mine ain't. Mine's the Walmart cowboy boots, so they are not waterproof. This poor guy has lost everything, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. Five vehicles, an RV, his whole home, his whole belonging, everything this guy's lost. How's it going, brother? All right, well, there you've seen the story, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and end this live stream. Uh, majority just about got it all concealed. Or, oh, not concealed, but uh, contained. These guys did a great job. Y'all give them some hearts and likes and some shares for Cal Fire. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this guy don't want to be interviewed, but he don't have insurance. He's lost everything he's on. So if you guys, anybody wants to help this guy out, please comment below, let me know. What size clothes do you need? Sir? <laughs> hey, we're gonna I help got you. It. I got it. you. You sure? Yeah. You know, we're here to help you out. If you need. I know. All right, well, he don't want no help, but when he does, we're here for him, folks. Uh, Thank you. Do you have anybody to help you out? Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. My daughter. So they say it's all fun. Yeah, yeah. We've had some mice chewing the electrical. Right, that's what the chief is telling me. Do you went through IE Reynolds? 
No, no. Oh, thank no, God. No. <laughs> thank God. I don't think so. No. No, it's a buddy, buddy from school. Okay. So. All right. Well, if you do need help in anything, you can figure out what you need. You know how to get a hold of me. We'll get something done for you. All right. Thank you, sir. Got you out in the back. It's good. <laughs> That's my friend right there. <laughs> But all right, ladies and gentlemen, there you see it. Uh, did the fire department talk to you? They're yeah. Trying to figure out how to take the lights off. Uh, I have no idea about the background. Oh. Okay. I only rent the so. Oh, that's not yours. Then. Uh, okay. All right. Somebody is good at storage. So. Gotcha. All right. Well, if you need me, hit right. me up, brother. I will. Be safe, man. All right. Now I was just talking to the homeowner. He basically said he was letting me know that that pot grow was not his. That was uh, actually somebody else's. He's just renting the trailer, so he said he never goes back there. But anyways, that's the story, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for following him and I news.com. Make sure you do share a video. Let our people know what happened tonight over here on Wanda Lane. Anything else you want to add, Chief? Nope. Uh, you got your story and you're sticking to it. Yeah, All right, <laughs> uh, you guys be safe All out right, there. Appreciate care. you guys, man. Good job. They got everybody out here, you guys. We have ambulance out here staged. Well, actually, more like the ambulance is out here blocked in. So he's getting his break in right there. <laughs> Utility companies out here, gas company is out here. So, excuse me. That's all I'm gonna cover for this one tonight. So you guys and gals have a good one. Stay safe out there. I will answer any comments when I do get back and uh, go through the comments on the phone. Till then, this is Eddie George and John Strangus as you see him walking right there tina was somewhere around here i think she's over here working on a car and Lori kane's in the truck with bella reporting live here on him and i news.com see y'all on the next one we'll be out all night